This video is going to be a full in-depth tutorial on how to do a successful clothing brand drop with the Cricut Explorer Air 2 and your iPhone. We're going to go over Cricut Design Space, the vinyl cutter, the heat press, and the full content creation process including filming and editing just using our phone. This tutorial is going to be super detailed that way you have all the tools you need to be successful. Let's get right into it. Alright so now we have Cricut Design Space open. We're going to go ahead and add some text. The design we're making is just going to be old English on the back of the shirt. Uh, the design is going to be longer than the 24 inches that, you know, design space allows us to cut. So I'm going to show you guys a small hack. Um, first, we're going to go ahead and add our font. When you download fonts, they're going to end up in the systems tab. Old English, I got from Defont. We're actually probably going to do like old London or something. There we go. But yeah, I got this from Defont. It's completely free. Um, let's see. So the width is going to be. Let's do. All right, we can do 32. And then the height will do well, seven and a half inches. So this is going on the back of the shirt. So I want to add a little bit of curve to it. All right, something light that way it just fits comfortably. But if you notice, it gives us this exclamation point. That's because this is larger than the 24 inches. So we're going to have to cut this and then cut it, you know, more than once. We're going to split it into two cuts and then put it together when we press. So to do that, we're gonna to go to the shapes tab, add any shape you want. And what you wanna do is just make sure, you know, let's go ahead and unlock that. Make sure that it's covering whatever you want to cut in half. So we're gonna cover a half of it. And you can use this method with any design that is larger than what design space will allow us to cut. So if you know it was a larger project, you would just do this, you know, however many times and then put it together. But we're gonna go ahead and highlight this, hit slice, and then we're gonna delete all of the unwanted layers. And then this is cut in half. But if you see now it's in two and we don't have the exclamation point. So we can now go ahead and send this to our vinyl cutter. You can save this or don't save it. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Make sure you mirror both of your layers. Very important. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and load up our vinyl. And just keep in mind that you can use your USB or Bluetooth with your Cricut Explorer Air 2. If you're using Bluetooth and it asks you for the pairing code, more than likely it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 0. So four zeros. But yeah, I will meet you at the vinyl cutter for our next step. All right, so now that we're ready to cut our vinyl, this is where we're going to start our filming process. Filming content is so important and the fact that we use Cricut and a heat press to make our stuff, the process is literally the key to our content. So let's break down the setup that I have here uh, with my iPhone. So these lights right here are um, some portable RGB LED lights. I have two of them. If you don't have, you know, lights or the budget to buy lights right now, then just grab any lamp or whatever that you have in the house and just set that up facing your subject. So in this case, this is the process where we're gonna be loading our vinyl cutter. So if you see right here, I have it angled perfectly where I want it. Make sure it's, you know, you have some space up top, some space in the bottom, and you want whatever your subject to focus on to be right in the middle. Also, make sure you guys are filming at 4K, either 24 frames per second or 30, uh, 30 frames per second, you know? So just keep that in mind. And uh, this is our setup, you know? You don't need any fancy equipment. Um, I got my first 40,000 followers on TikTok uh, using an iPhone 7. This is an iPhone 15. 
but any iPhone works, you know what I mean? Especially if you have this light kit. But now that you guys see how the camera's set up, I'm gonna, you know, go on to the next step and actually load the vinyl, and then we'll just go from there. But, you know, uh, just keep in mind, you guys are more than welcome to utilize any of these steps however you want. Like, even if it means you have to completely copy this video, completely copy the angle, the lighting, whatever you guys need use it i want you guys to be able to use this for momentum um you know I, a lot of you guys actually message me asking me for permission to use my designs like you don't need to ask me for permission just use it you know what i mean these tutorials are for you but let's move on to the next step so you guys can see um i am going to be recording uh on the iphone but i'll set up the camera uh appropriate for you guys all right so keep in mind the whole time I am filming on my iPhone because I'm going to need all of this raw footage. It's also going to be really clutch for you to have all the raw footage of every step because each one of those steps is its own piece of content if you can structure it correctly. If you guys need more assistance on the content creation part, let me know in the comment section. I'll teach you guys exactly how to organize your footage to get the maximum out of all your efforts, right? So we are going to be using... The recipe heat transfer vinyl, uh, this is available down below. Uh, we're putting vinyl on the back of a shirt, um, laying out across the shoulder. So I wanna make sure you guys understand that it's important to have high quality heat transfer vinyl so that your customers are always happy. So let's go on and uh, go to the next step. Um, I already cut out the vinyl, laid it out on the mat. So in one steady motion, because we're filming, remember on our iPhone, I'm gonna go ahead and just put it in here, feed it in there. And uh, for heat transfer vinyl, uh, we have the iron on plus option uh, for the needle pressure. And uh, once that's set how it's properly needed to be, we can go ahead and start cutting um, before this step, the computer offers you a two times speed. Uh, I'm not going to do that just because I want to go ahead and just cut this right here. And then for the next shot, for when I'm filming on my iPhone, I'm actually going to get a close up of the needle um, while I'm filming on the right side, pointing down diagonal, because it's going to make sense for how I cut the video. Like I said, you guys can just copy every angle. So that way you guys can just get the video done exactly how I do it because your first couple might get confusing. But if you just follow this structure, it will all make sense. But I will show you guys the angle that I'm going to do in a second as soon as I cut the vinyl. So let's go ahead and start that. All right. So now that the vinyl cutter is cutting, I'm going to go right here and we're going to want to make sure it's a close shot. And you really only need like... Four seconds. Hold on. And don't be afraid to stay here for a second and make sure you get that good shot. Boom. Perfect. Yep. All right. That's it. And we're going to just wait for this to cut and then we'll set up the shot for when we're peeling our vinyl. All right. So the next step in our process is to peel the vinyl. This is going to be the angle that I'm going with, kind of like an overhead shot. I have the lights basically in the same place. I ended up bringing this one just a little bit higher. I'm going to be sitting right here. But yeah, so this is going to be the scene that we cut to after the scene that we did where the vinyl is being cut by the needle. And remember, we were on the right side. So with this one, we're on a left overhead shot. So that cut's going to make sense. Feel free to, you know, copy this angle exactly step by step how I do it. But this is basically our setup. Now I'm going to just set this camera down so we can peel our vinyl. And keep in mind, this, this iPhone will be filming the process as I'm, you know, guiding you guys through the process as well. All right, so I'm going to start with bringing the vinyl into the shot. And for this step in particular, you don't necessarily have to film the whole process of you weeding the vinyl, because then you're gonna end up with a lot of footage. What I would do is uh, probably film you peeling vinyl for about 30 seconds. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut to a scene of the vinyl already peeled. So that way you're not having to film a whole bunch during this specific step because it can be, you know, a lot. And for this step, I don't think we needed too much. So I will meet you guys at the next shot once this is already peeled. So you guys can go ahead and see the angle that we're filming for that. Okay, so all of the vinyl is peeled. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the phone off of the tripod and I'm going to just do a panning shot over the vinyl peel just to showcase that it has now been peeled. It's going to help them, you know, follow through with watching the whole video. So I'll show you guys that angle and that way you guys know what step is next. And if you notice, I am on the right side again because that last shot was an overhead shot on the left so the next cut has to be us on this side and uh don't be scared to film it more than once to make sure you get that nice angle so all right that's good enough let's go on to the next step all right so the next step is our heat press let's go over the setup for this shot so we have the light on the left side facing directly on the heat press and then the same thing with the right side it's facing directly on the heat press we're going for an overhead shot that way your viewer can focus on the garment uh we're going to be using a fancier studio 16 by 24 this is a pull out drawer which i love this one is about 379 dollars um this one's dope because especially for designs like this where it's larger than you know a regular 15 by 15 we're going to be able to cover more space and have to do less presses so this is our shot go ahead and you know write this down so you know what type of shot you need to get next and uh, we're gonna you know apply our t-shirt to the press and apply the vinyl let's get it all right so the heat press is preheated to 300 degrees that is the temperature that we're going to be using for the recipe heat transfer vinyl so for this video we are doing an la apparel drop shoulder vintage tee for this one heavyweight um we are going to be pre-pressing the garment for about 10 seconds on each area that the vinyl is going to be on uh, you want to do this to knock out any moisture that could potentially be in the shirt. That'll be, you know, a reason why your vinyl wall adhere properly sometimes. So we want to go ahead and do that. You don't have to necessarily put this step in the video. Um, the pre-pressing part, you can if you want. That's totally up to you. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So it's going to go on the back. The collar is right here, like this front part. It just, you know, you could feel it right here. So what I'm going to make sure I'm doing is making sure that that collar part is nowhere near the edge right here. You know what I mean? I need it to be over because if we press that, you're going to see it on the back side, and there's going to be like a ring that's going to be basically impossible to get out. So let's scoot this over. And we're going to be doing this left side first. And don't be scared to take your time. You want to make sure you get any potential wrinkles out. Cool. And then this will be the perfect time to check your pressure. We're going to be uh, using medium pressure with the heat press. So we'll do this for about 10 seconds. All right. We're going to go ahead and do this side. Remember to take your time, guys. All 
gosh, perfect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the left part first. Remember, our design is larger than the Cricut mat and the heat press. It is 32 inches across. Remember to be mindful of the collar right here, okay? That's what we're trying to avoid. All right. Now let's go ahead and press this. We're gonna do this for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then we're gonna slowly peel it to make sure it's adhered. If not, we're gonna go ahead and press it again. It's okay to take your time on these projects, you guys, especially when you know we're investing into our own supplies. All right, I'm actually gonna Bring it more towards the middle, so that way the pressure can be even on this side. And um, when we're editing this in CapCut, we're going to be taking out all the dead space, all the unnecessary stuff, and we're going to be able to make this transformation video uh, under 60 seconds, so that way it fits for short form content. All right. Uh, this right here is just a heat resisting glove that I actually picked up from Daiso uh, like three years back. It's still running strong. Unfortunately, I have not been able to find another one. Um, I've definitely been looking. <laughs> but, all right. This is going to be, we're going to go for like a warm peel. So we'll let it sit for a sec. Now let's see. Perfect. And the reason why it's important to use high quality heat transfer vinyl for these projects is because if you see right here, we're going over the seam and there's going to be a lot of movement right here because it's, you know, the, the, the back of our shoulder blades and our arms. So if you have cheap vinyl and your customer is wearing this, you're going to have a lot of crinkles in here and the shirt's going to end up looking pretty ugly. All right. Now we can go ahead and scoot this over. And it's okay if you have to press in more than once like I did already because since we're so close to the edge sometimes it takes a little effort to get that even pressure right here. So, you know, go ahead and press it more than once. And if you guys are using high quality heat transfer vinyl, uh, like the one that I'm using, you can press it almost as many times as you want. And the vinyl is not going to, you know, have any damage done to it. But if you're using like cheap vinyl, uh, you press it too many times and uh, the vinyl ends up like burning through. You know what I mean? You like I've had vinyl do all sorts of weird stuff just because it was cheap so like i said guys just make sure you're investing in high quality heat transfer vinyl for all of your projects all right
All right, perfect. Now we're gonna do this for about 15 seconds or so. Then we'll pat it down with the, the heat resistant mitt and then do it for maybe another 10 seconds and then we'll just check it from there. But just take your time. You know, I, I can't stress it enough. Um, stuff like this can get tricky when you're working with seams and when you're working with sizes that you're trying to, you know, adjust properly. Let's go ahead and do another 10 seconds. All right. Let's wait a little bit longer. All right. So let's check this out. Remember, peel slow. Oh, that is so satisfying. And this vinyl is nice and soft. It doesn't have that sticker feeling. That's why I like this one, especially since it's going to be going on the back. Your customers are going to be really happy and you're going to be really confident selling your garments, you know, by just following the steps in this tutorial. All right, there we go. All right, so. I'm still filming on the iPhone, so what I'm going to pretty much do is just do a shot of me taking it off of the heat press. And our next shot is basically basically going to be us laying out um, maybe a white sheet or a black carpet or, you know, something of that nature. I'll see what looks good with this color. And uh, we're going to be pretty much doing video and photo that we're going to be utilizing to upload this and market it. Um, I'm going to show you guys step by step how I do all that, create the mock up for the website, um, the short form for all the, you know, platforms, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys are still, uh, you know, continuing to digest this free content, free tutorials. Um, but yeah, let's get it. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and take this off of the heat press and let's move on to the next shot. All right. For this next shot, we just laid out a white sheet nothing special you can use anything that you have laying around we set a light right here and another light right there and for this shot we're actually going to be doing pictures and video i'm going to screen record my phone so you guys can see what angles i'm getting to make sure you guys are being efficient with your shots so let's get it all right so the first thing we're going to do is take our mock-up photo so we're just going to go right over one, two, three should be good enough. Now we're going to do one to the side. And then we'll get a little bit closer. And then we'll do the same thing for this side. And then we'll get a little bit closer. Maybe we won't do that side. We'll probably just. All right. So that's good for the photos. We're going to be doing a mock-up with the one we did up top like this. And then we will just add the other pictures to the rest of the slide. Now we're going to go ahead and do our video. So for video, make sure you guys are doing 4K 60 frames per second. It's going to help you slow-mo your shot. This is going to be our first shot right here. Okay. 
<clears throat> Same thing on this side. All right. Perfect. Same thing on this side. Boom. Perfect. That's all we need. Um, we are done shooting. I will see you guys at the next step. To edit our video, we're going to be using CapCut. It's completely free in the App Store. Basically, what I did was remove all the dead space and the uninteresting parts that we don't need. I have a full tutorial breaking down in detail how to edit these videos, so I do recommend you go check that out if you want me to elaborate on these steps more. Removing the background in your camera roll is super easy. Just hold your subject, press share, and then save image. It's literally that easy. And then you can just adjust the brightness and the contrast to your preference. All right, so I went ahead and I uploaded everything onto the website. I personally use Wix for my website hosting, but Shopify works as well. If you made it this far, I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and meet me in the comment section with any questions. If you want to support my content, I do have a few of these shirts available, but check out the rest of the inventory as well. I know you're going to find something that you love, and it's the perfect way to support the content I'm creating for us in the community. I'll see you next video.